Hey guys, today's the most exciting part of the trip. We're up at 4 a.m. to swim with the whale sharks. We're up at 4 a.m. because we want to start the day early because there's going to be a long line up there. It's a big tourist spot. <sighs> this is it. This is the most exciting part. We're saving the best for last. First stop is to buy tickets to the boat to go to the whale. Oh, it's about to go down. It's about to go down for real. I'm so excited and scared a little bit for this at the same time. Scared, scared. Everything's on time so far. Our boat is at 6 p.m. We just bought our tickets. Boarding time. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm a little bit scared. I'm not scared yet, but I know I'm gonna get scared. I will try not to because this is for the vlog and this is a once in a lifetime experience almost, kind of. So we'll see. Okay, so we're on our way to Oslo after the boat bus. I'm sitting on this bed. Who's excited? I'm so excited. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Oh my goodness, we're here. We're here. We're here. If you guys are planning to come here, highly recommend to come here early because there's gonna be a long lineup later on. Look at, there's no people here yet. <laughs> Looking at this photo, look at this. Look how big they are. Looking at this photo, I'm a little bit scared already, but I got a lot of pep talks from my aunts uncles and my cousins that I should really jump because it's worth it and I should not be scared oh my god guys this is it this is it they said early in the morning there's about seven of them and later on in the noon there's only gonna be two of them so I think you have to go through orientation before you can swim with the shark there's a lot of foreigners here patients that you must have to follow during your wall shark interaction First and most important rule is you are not allowed to touch the wild shark. <laughs> Here we go. Tapa na tonga ba? Tapa na tonga. Kung ba naman yun? Yeah. Open it na. Open it na di ana.
I did not get scared. I was the first one to jump. It's nice. Okay, fuck it up. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> As you can see, we're back in Dumaguete. We are packing right now to go back to the, the Pollock City, my hometown again. So it's the same day travel. Okay, are you feeling it? Because I'm tired. So here's what happened 4 a.m. this morning, we woke up. We took my aunt's car. The, she took us to the pier. Is that how you say it? Pier? 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 <clears throat> from the pier, we took to this town called Liluan. And from Liluan, we took the bus to Os Oslo. And Oslo is where the whale watching and whale diving is. So if you want to do that, it's the closest path from Dumaguete to Liluan, Liluan to Oslo. If you take it from Cebu, downtown Cebu, I heard, it's very far. You have to turn around the island and you go four hours drive all the way to Oslo. Our trip only took us like about an hour. All the boat and bus riding combined. Anyway, so I'm packing right now to go home. And tomorrow, I'm going to be one of the judges for Miss Intrums in my high school. Miss Intrums is like a beauty pageant for uh, all high school students. Each school has it. I'm an alumni in this high school so they asked me to do it. Anyway, so let me just say this that the whale watching was one of the best experiences I've ever had. Life-changing. <laughs> it may seem funny but it is life-changing experience. Like it's amazing. I don't, it's, I'm speechless. Breathtaking. I, I don't know what, it's, it's this majestic creature right in front of you arms reach right in front of you swimming with you and it feels like there's they're the one of the most gentle animals on this planet like they don't care maybe because they don't care because there's food in front of them people are feeding them but that was just amazing like if you guys are, have been following these vlogs if you guys are my close friends y'all know i'm scared of animals y'all know that i never i walk away from chicken i walk for, away from dogs but this one, I guess I wasn't scared because everyone else was jumping around me and everybody was enjoying the whale. So the first jump was me testing the water, metaphorically. It could be literally as well because water could be cold, but I, it was me testing the water. I jumped in, I looked around, I, I literally stared on the, I literally stared, I literally stared at the whale and I just observed their behavior and I noticed that they didn't care that people were there swimming around them so I jumped in, did my selfies, asked my brother to take my videos, footage and the rest was history. Now I can say that I jumped with a whale, I swam with a whale and now I can say that I conquered my fear that I can do things. Now on to the next one. <laughs> It's exciting! Y'all should try something out of the box every once in a while. So it's amazing. It's amazing. Guess where we are again? Oh my god! We are at the pier again. We're on the way to the Pollock. This traveling thing is <laughs> a lot. It requires a lot of energy and athleticism and patience. Okay, let's go. I'm teaching him how to vlog. 